morning. Thank you. Thank you, Tosim. Uh, once again, thank you, Asa, for organizing this great meeting. I'm asked to talk about return to sport, return to track and field after cartilage repair. So I'm just going to, uh, it's going to be in two parts. One is what I do for cartilage repair. And so I think some of these techniques have been uh, covered. Uh, I do a mixture of BMAC and uh, scaffold. I think that was covered by the first speaker. And then for some cases, an uh, autograph option. I do allograph options as well, but uh, primarily uh, the workhorse is a BMAC scaffold. Then we'll talk about, about, about uh, go on an, uh, a review of the literature to look at what the return to sport rates after cartilage repair is and uh, what is the rehab guidelines after the surgery. You know, so the workhorse for cartilage repair I use is, as I, as I mentioned, uh, a bone marrow aspirate concentrate with a scaffold. Um, the scaffold, there are various scaffolds that are available. Uh, there are solid scaffolds, there are um, fluid scaffolds. Uh, in this uh, video, I use an injectable scaffold. You see the harvesting of BMAC from the iliac crest. It can also be done from the proximal tibia in some cases. And, um, well, um, solid scaffolds, I think, was covered with the use of a hyaluronic scaffold, um, hyalophas, or in, uh, in other cases, a porcine collagen scaffold, uh, chondroguide. And injectable scaffolds, they are also collagen-based scaffolds as well as uh, hyaluronic-based scaffolds. So, so this is in an arthroscopic video that you're seeing, trochlear lesion, fairly large, and as well as a lesion on the patella side, I try to do these uh, arthroscopically because uh, I believe that if once you open up the joint, there's a lot of stiffness, the re, uh, recovery goes a lot slower. And then um, after preparing the lesion with a wet arthroscopy, then you move on to a dry scope. And then you apply in this injectable uh, um, application, a combination of a injectable scaffold and uh, bone marrow aspirate that's loaded onto the scaffold. So this is seeding it on the uh, trochlear side and then we move on to uh, deliver it on the roof of the lesion as we are seeing it here. This is the, uh, the, the scaffold going onto the patella side. Well, why, why we use BMAC? And, and well, the combination is that you believe that the BMAC is the cells and we do not do a microfracture. And so this is the completion of it. And if you range the, the, the repair, you can see it's stable. And you can also turn on the fluid, and then you can see the remains. You know, so we find that by doing this, we have better outcomes by protecting the subchondral plate as well as um, providing the cells. So these are the pre- and post-op MRIs of some of the patients I've done on the trochlear as well as the patella side. You can see the fill is fairly good and smooth. And again, this is a single-stage arthroscopic cartilage repair. Um, we, there's also the talk about using a two-stage like Macy. Our experience has been fairly good in terms of post-op outcome scores. And a lot of this is done with concomitant uh, procedures. Well, when do we not use this? Perhaps with an osteochondral lesion, as you can see on the MRI picture, or where there's disease subchondral bone, as you see on the, below, the MRI below. And in some cases, perhaps a high-demand athlete where they want to go back to sport a little earlier. Okay, and why we, we, we look at the literature at 15 years, uh, oats, mosaic plasty, uh, as described by Hangodi, has shown to have better outcomes, you know, if you compare them to microfracture for patients who are between 18 to 50 years. And this is long-term results and it, from AJSM 2018. So oats are really good, you know. So how do I do an oat? First, you harvest. Uh, you can do it open or arthroscopically. In the smaller lesions, you first harvest it from the notch. Uh, in some cases, or in a non-weight-bearing region, for example, the medial condyle, and if um, I think we've shown an uh, open uh, delivery of the plug, and in this case, you visualize through the scope and you, uh, you, can, you can use the same system to uh, deliver the, 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 and then you use a temp to smoothen out the, the thing. And, and, and the, I, I mean, for this, it is good because you have a, a segment of bone and cartilage that's delivered to the repair site, and you can see the post-op MRIs there on the right side. And so the, the, I mean, in, in, in some cases, this is a good option that uh, should be considered, especially if you want to have the patient go back 
to spot a bit earlier. So now we go through the literature review. I start off with this paper in AJSM 2009. You will see that in the next two or three papers, the same authors seem to be in the, in the list. And uh, this is 20, review, 20 studies in the review. High rates, high, highest rates after an oat, which is what we saw as the last technique. The time to return to spots varies, you know, uh, depending on the repair technique. But the fastest rate and the highest rate of return seem to be coming from uh, oat. The uh, pre-injury return to spot level um, was at about 65% uh, for an ACI. I think just now we, uh, people talk about Macy. That's metrics. And this is in 2009, the first generation ACI. Well, the factors, age, the duration of symptoms, the level of play, lesion size, and the repair tissue morphology. Again, this was all covered by the first speaker as the outcomes of ACI. Um, this is, again, a similar study. If you look, it's in 2012, cartilage. Again, talking about the, pretty much the same thing. Return to spot rate was about 79%, so about 8 out of 10 you know, can go back to some form of uh, high-level sport and the durability. In this case, I, I think it should be taken with a pinch of salt, but perhaps this was actually looking at ACI results and they said durability of bad results, meaning that it was persistent at, for after ACI and 96% could continue sport participation after three years. So I think this matches what we uh, first heard where if you're talking about durable cartilage repair, ACI is better than microfracture. Arthroscopy 2016, 20 studies. Um, microfracture, ACI, OAT, allograft, allograft uh, osteochondral. This is allograft plug, a large plug. You know, and the return to spot rate after OAT was 89, also chondral allograph 88%, ACI 84. So fairly co uh, consistent or com comparable return to spot rate. Of course, the lowest was on microfracture. And the, um, well, again, talking about the best prognosis was in the younger patients with shortest duration. Kesta, overall return to spot rate was 78%. So as we move through the years, you can see that the reports of return to sport ranges from about 70 to 80 percent. And again, OATS has the highest return to sport rate with the shortest time, average of 5.2 months. Osteochondral allografts, that's an allograft option. I'm quite certain it's not available everywhere. Uh, in Singapore, it's available, but very limited cases are done. ACI, 82 percent, and the lowest is microfracture. So you can see in most studies, microfracture is lowest, ACI somewhere in between. Both take a fairly long time to return to spot with the fastest as an oat. So as, we, as I started off with, I, this, I said that if you want someone to go back fast, an option of an oat procedure would probably be best. Finally, in 2023, this is the latest data coming out from uh, Lars Anger Bretson as, and, and uh, Gilbert Moshe. Um, in college 2023, um, they again did a scoping review and the, of course it's a wide range, return to sport after microfracture 44 to 83, pre-injury level 25 to 75, you know, again the highest rate of return to sport was OAT, OC graph was second, ACI, you see ACI is very inconsistent. 33 to 96 percent, that's very telling, meaning that technique is important. You can get very poor results, you can get very good results. Mm -hmm. And well, I, I think that's something which, which, which you need to pay attention to. So high heterogeneity in the range and return to spot level, you know, especially uh, with ACI. So this is probably a very useful paper, summarizes what we have seen when we looked at return to sport data after college repair since 2009. Just a few papers on specific with regards to, let's say, soccer players, return to sport rate about 80, 83 um, percent. And so a lot of these procedures are possible to return to sport. Uh, in elite basketball players, um, this is a HSS study by Riley Williams looking at professional athletes, very small series, 11 athletes, uh, a very specific type of uh, repair, which are uh, osteochondral allograft transplantation, 
again, an allograft plug, and well return to sport was 80%. So um, I would say four out of five were able to go back to jumping sport. When we look at um, the rehab guidelines here, uh, if you accelerate them, a six-week return to full weight bear after some form of cartilage repair may see provided comparable results as a more delayed outcome, uh, delayed pro, um, protocol of eight weeks. And this was based on outcome uh, measures as well as MRIs. So you can make them go a bit faster. Uh, this, this, this comes out of uh, the PERF group that does, out of, that, that does a lot of uh, MACI. Well, consensus guidelines on the rehab uh, in college two, 2021. Well, these are the, so basically they sent out all the guidelines and then got the, these experts to agree. So the three things that they could conclude was time to full weight bear was uh, agreed as immediate. So if you do a pelofemoral uh, repair, you know, that means in the PF or trochlea, you can full weight bear them. But if you do somewhere in the uh, tibial femoral, is much more, is longer, seven to nine weeks. You progress the range of motion to 90 degrees, up to about four weeks, estimated full weight bear, about seven to nine weeks. So again, this was what everyone could agree upon, and uh, this is what I actually use. And this is uh, the table from the study. So in summary, most techniques give an 80 to 90% rate of return to sport. Uh, various, maybe, maybe at a lower level, if you want to give the best chances, OAT or ACI, microfracture is the lowest. Uh, most will need a return to sport at one year only. Maybe if you do an OAT, it will be faster. Um, the rehab can be accelerated as we see in the latest literature. The rehab has to be tailored to the lesion site, whether it's pelofemoral or tibial femoral. Um, and the technique of the repair, meaning an OAT or some form of Macy, Properly, proper counselling need because you need to tell them how long you can wait there and also it's important. So finally, once again, thank you to all my Thai friends.